Okay, welcome back. And now let's introduce the net change theorem. So the net change theorem says that the new value of a changing quantity equals the initial value plus the integral of the rate of change. So it's given this. So here's the final value. So it's the initial value plus the integral of the rate of change. Okay? Or if you just solve for this integral, you get the integral from A to B, the definite integral of this function f prime of x is equal to the difference between the initial value and the final value, or the final value minus the initial value. So looks familiar, right? But here's the thing. This net change theorem, remember when we did the, the net signed uh, the, uh, um, what was it called? The, um, the net, the signed net change, or, or area, the net, signed, uh, the, the net signed area. Well, this is related to that because what this is telling you is that, for example, if I have a changing quantity, something that's changing, let's say, with respect to time, like velocity, position, just to name a couple, okay? then I can find the net change in what? The net change in, um, let's say, distance, right? If I'm talking about velocity, a changing quantity, a changing, changing quantity, let's say, velocity is changing distance, then I can find the, uh, the, um, the final distance traveled by taking the initial distance plus the change in distance, right, the integral of the change in distance. So by integrating the velocity, which gives me, remember, net, this gives me net change in area, okay? And then I add that to the initial value, and that get, tells me what my final value is, right? I could use this also for um, looking at profits, right? If I want to know what my profits are, okay? So there are lots and lots of applications for this. Now, keep in mind that the other thing to keep in mind is that, hey, this is going to give you net change, which means it takes into, into account negative and, negative and positive values of, let's say, velocity or anything like that, because it'll automatically subtract them. So again, it gives you the net change. If you want total change, if you want the total, then you would have to use the absolute value, just like we showed you in when we were talking about net signed, um, um, yeah, net signed area versus total area. This is related to that, okay? Okay. Have a great day.